The cows-based Yokogawa Marex is a subsidiary of the international Yokogawa Group. In 2003, the cows' office was turned into one of their worldwide centres of excellence. Um, Nigel Bowden, previously operations director in cows, was promoted to managing director to take the company forward. Yokogawa Marex um, provide information solutions to industry. What that specifically means is that they gather data from process control systems, convert that data into key performance indicators and information that helps the process industries maximise the way in which they operate their business. Yokogawa, who own Yokogawa Marex, um, provide those control systems from where we gather the data. And Yokogawa is a global operation. It's a $5 billion organisation uh, with over 200 offices around the world, 20,000 employees. And we're a part of that organisation. How difficult has it been working through the recession? It's, it has been difficult, there's no doubt about it. And if I look across Yokogawa, we've had to really look at the business as a whole across the world uh, and look at um, the operations in every single country. And Yokogawa has slimmed down and has made some restructuring changes. Fortunately, our business is quite specialised. And because of that, there's very few people can deliver. Yokogawa recognise that and they want to invest in this type of business to allow it to grow and help them to grow. What makes your part of the business so special? It's the fact that um, it comes down to people, basically, and we have specialists in IT, in infrastructure, in networking, which are a very rare, com rare com commodity in this market. Um, and because of that, Yokogawa want to hold on to those skills, and because of those skills, the market needs them. And you're based on the island, which many people would think was a strange place to be. Um, how, how did that happen? It is a strange place and it's historic. I mean, Yokogawa Marex is over 40 years old. It started off as Marex technology, which was marine exploration, and it was involved in oceanographic type activities. It moved into computing um, maybe 25 years ago, um, and because of the owners at that time living on the island, they kept the business here. In reality, you can develop software anywhere in the world. Uh, and because of that, there's no reason why we shouldn't be here. The benefits of being here are that you do attract some of the more um, lesser known skills uh, onto the island uh, and when people do move here they like the environment, they love the island and they stay. One of the key factors of our success is staff retention and one of the attractions uh, of uh, software people is to feel secure, to bring their families up in a safe environment and because of that we have very low staff turnover and that's one of the successes. Do you predominantly have young people in, in the software role? It tends to be because software changes so quickly um, and the technology is moving on all the time, you tend to need young people to drive the innovation. However, you also need the experience and knowledge of process industries and how to apply the software into the environment that our customers are working in. So does that mean you need some older heads to, able to work alongside the younger ones? Absolutely. It's key to have that mix of experience and youth and the two feet of each other. And you see a really um, creative environment being developed uh, with that mix of, of, of age ranges. So to keep, get the, keep the older people, you need to have some you know, good retention. Does the island being, being based here help that? I think the island certainly helps it. I think um, some of the older people have been here for 20, 30 years even. Um, and they brought their families up here. They like the environment. They sail. They enjoy the island as a whole. Um, I think it can be more difficult attracting the younger people because they see the island as a bit of a backwater where there's nothing going on. Um, however, the, the sort of skills we're looking for are for people who've maybe three or four years out of college. They've spent their time in London and had their excitement, hopefully. They're ready to settle down with families and there the island does provide an ideal environment. Now you've just won three major orders. What was involved in winning them? They're basically long-term prospects that we work on. Our uh, turnaround from sort of um, finding the opportunity to close the order can be anything up to three years um, and even longer for the big new oil investments. Um, these we've been working on for the last two years, working closely with the Yokogawa affiliate in uh, the Middle East, in Bahrain. Um, and this year was a year when we felt sure they were going to happen. Uh, we put a lot of effort in with the Middle East affiliate and we closed the deals this year, which is, which is quite nice. And what does that mean for the business here? The business here means that we are absolutely full uh, from an audible point of view with work to keep everybody employed for the next 12 months, which is not unusual, but it's strange to have it in such a long-term environment. 
Um, what we need to do now, what we are doing now, is maintaining our order book for the 12 months after that and on and on and on. Will you be taking on more staff? We are, all the time. Uh, this year we've taken on five. Um, we've just put advertisements out for two more staff. Um, and we hope to actually grow the business by 30% next year. So we've set some, some, some fairly arduous targets for ourselves. So what are the key factors in your success and the new business gains? I think it's our uniqueness and it's the approach we take. I think everybody in the organisation has much of a can-do approach. We don't have a shop floor attitude in this type of business. Um, everybody recognises how the business operates and what it needs to work. Um, the team play and the team building is what drives the company forward and because of that the customers recognise a very cohesive organisation which can deliver good quality software on time and in budget which is what it's all about. How do you go about developing new products and solutions for your customers? We basically have a rolling five-year plan um, so we are gathering requirements all the time as the technology changes as our customers needs change uh, we gather those through surveys and through feedback through our support desk we then maintain an ongoing development list effectively and each year we sit down and define what we're going to produce in each of the products each year and that's a, a sort of five-year roadmap. One of the, the things about Yokogawa as an organisation being Japanese it tends to think in terms of 20 years when it comes to planning rather than three to five uh, and so we're part of that long-term planning within Yokogawa. Now you work within protest industries that are very complicated like you know oil and gas, mm -hmm. pharmaceuticals etc. That must take a lot of uh, understanding your clients processes. Absolutely, it's key to actually not only understand the processes but understand the business and what makes that business successful. So when you're looking at refining, you're looking at the cost of feedstocks, availability of feedstocks and if you can speak the language of your customers and identify with them and their problems then of course they have the credibility and the faith that you can deliver. And how do you go about selling your products to the world market? We sell all of our products through the Yokogawa Global Channel. There are 5,000 Yokogawa sales guys out there and they are the people that we're feeding with information, knowledge and support on a daily basis to ensure that they're constantly promoting what Yokogawa Marics do and hopefully selling our solutions into their existing accounts. Now you run a successful business that happens to be based on the island. You know, there's no doubt lots of people around in these recessionary times thinking about starting their own business. Would you have any advice for them? I can only say planning is key. Planning and preparation. Get your business plan right, up front, follow your business plan and stick to your guns.